In today's episode of the story of animals, we're tackling one of the most famous myths in the animal kingdom. It's a belief that has been reinforced for generations, often depicted in movies, cartoons, and, of course, the dramatic world of Spanish bullfighting. Let's unravel the mystery and discover what really makes bulls charge. Let's answer the question, do bulls really hate red? The idea that bulls hate red stems largely from traditional bullfighting. In the arena, matadors wave a red cape, known as a muleta, provoking the bull into charging. To spectators, it seems as though the bull is enraged by the color itself, aggressively lunging at the fabric in a fit of rage. But here's the truth. Bulls aren't reacting to the color at all. Instead, their aggressive response is driven by something entirely different. To understand why this myth is false, we need to take a closer look at how bulls see the world. Unlike humans, bulls and other cattle are dichromats, meaning they can only perceive two primary colors, blues and yellows. They lack the receptors necessary to see reds and greens the way we do. So, to a bull, the infamous red cape might appear as a dull gray or brown, hardly something to get furious over. This means that even if the matador were to wave a blue or green cape, the bull's reaction would be exactly the same. If bulls aren't provoked by the color, then why do they charge at the matador's cape? The answer lies in movement. Bulls are naturally reactive to rapid or erratic motion. The way the muleta is waved and flicked through the air captures their attention, triggering their instinct to charge. This response is not unique to bullfighting. Bulls, like many large mammals, have a strong fight or flight response when faced with sudden movements. The sudden, unpredictable motion of the cape is what truly incites their aggressive behavior, not the color itself. Beyond the arena, bulls are not inherently aggressive animals. Like other cattle, they are social creatures with a strong herd mentality. Wild bulls will typically avoid confrontation unless they feel threatened. In the wild, Males will engage in displays of dominance, but this is often more about posturing than actual fighting. Only when necessary do they use their immense strength to defend themselves or their territory. Additionally, bulls communicate through body language and vocalizations, using these signals to establish dominance or warn others of potential threats. Bulls have played a significant role in human societies for thousands of years. They have been symbols of power and fertility in ancient cultures, from Mesopotamian carvings to Greek mythology's Minotaur. In agriculture, bulls have been essential for breeding strong livestock, and in some cultures they are still used for plowing fields. Their impressive physique and stamina make them valuable work animals. Even in modern times, the image of the bull remains a powerful cultural icon, symbolizing strength, endurance, and resilience. While bullfighting has long been a cultural tradition in Spain and some Latin American countries, it remains a controversial practice. Many animal rights activists argue against it, citing the stress and harm inflicted on the bulls. In modern times, there have been shifts towards more humane alternatives, such as bloodless bullfights, 
where the spectacle remains but without harming the animal. This growing awareness underscores our evolving relationship with these magnificent creatures. Some regions have even banned bullfighting altogether, opting instead for cultural events that celebrate the beauty of bulls without causing them distress. So do bulls really hate red? The answer is a resounding no. Bulls are colorblind to red, and what truly triggers their charges is movement, not hue. This widespread misconception is a testament to how easily myths can take root, especially when they seem visually convincing. But as we've learned today, a deeper look at animal behavior and biology reveals the truth. Understanding bulls better allows us to appreciate them for the intelligent, powerful, and fascinating animals they truly are. Thank you for joining us in this episode of The Story of Animals. Stick around for some trivia to test what you've learned. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question one. What triggers a bull to charge in a bullfight? The correct answer is C, the movement of the cape. Bulls are drawn to motion, not color. Their natural instinct makes them charge at fast-moving objects rather than reacting to a specific hue. Let's try another question. Question two. How do bulls perceive the color red? The correct answer is D. As a shade of gray. Bulls are dichromatic and cannot see red the way we do. To them, red is just another neutral shade. Let's move on to the last question for this episode. Question three. What is the purpose of a bull's horns in the wild? The correct answer is B. To defend against predators and rivals. Bulls use their horns for self-defense and to establish dominance within their herd. It's an essential tool for survival in the wild. Great job if you got all three questions correct. If you missed any, don't worry. You've just learned some fascinating facts about bulls and their behavior. See you next time on The Story of Animals. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.